I'd like to have you walk through your background. I've had a chance to read through your resume, but I want to hear more directly from you about your experience. Growing up in Pakistan, especially as a woman, it was particularly difficult for me to achieve my goals in higher education. But um, I also didn't want to accept the world as it is and wanted to change things for myself and for the society that I came from. So as soon as I finished my uh, degree um, in Pakistan, uh, I went to India to do my master's in history and followed that trajectory all the way to the University of Chicago and received my PhD in the Department of History. But along with my um, academic achievements, I also gained some useful experiences in uh, the professional life. Uh, primarily among them is uh, teaching. Like several PhD students at the University of Chicago, I taught a number of courses in theory and cultural studies as well as history. Uh, and I was actually given uh, an, a teaching award on the basis of being nominated by my students. My teaching was then also accompanied by my uh, research projects, and uh, I will just speak about a few significant ones. Uh, one was at the Regenstein Library at the University of Chicago, where I was responsible for a, a collection of Urdu books, uh, and uh, I had to do an integration of this collection in order to make it available for scholars um, around the world. And uh, I'm very excited that this uh, collection is going to generate several very challenging and exciting research projects. This project was then followed by another major research project that was uh, about writing the history of the South Asian Studies Department at the university, resulted in a, a book. And that book is actually going to open up new streams of funding for the department. However, it was uh, my postdoctoral fellowship at the South Asia Institute at Harvard where I learned the way in which businesses intersect with academic scholarly projects. And I did this one uh, very, one prominent event with a very renowned uh, scholar of South Asia who talked about her research. She also happened to be a MacArthur Genius Grant recipient. And her research work generated a lot of interest among uh, corporations and foundations who actually agreed to offer money to the Institute for uh, further research projects. It was this experience that I brought back uh, with me to Chicago. And there were two insights that I was really keen to follow up on. One was that how the business world is open to employing creative ideas. And secondly, they can um, use those ideas and deploy their capital to make change happen. And it is this that I find really exciting about consulting. And that's why I decided to follow this path. And uh, I'm very excited for this um, new trajectory that I would like to follow. And I'm excited for this opportunity to interview with you.